Hello everyone! Have you ever had the problem identifying a cat from a dog? I know, probably not, but let's admit it. Sometimes it's not as easy as you think. There are many examples out there. That's why in today's video we will create a deep learning algorithm and make it easy even for your grandmother to follow it. To achieve this, we will use the famous ChatGPT, the free version for all of you who have access. So stay tuned and let's quickly begin. And welcome back! I know it's been a long time since the last video, but my free time was really limited for those who watch my channel due to many job responsibilities. However, I promise you to keep you updated this time as regularly as possible with everything interesting I find, like this video. I know what you are thinking about this video. Why do we need the machine to tell us the difference between cats and dogs? Can't we use our own eyes? Probably, but why not to use something more sophisticated like ChatGPT instead and examine its capabilities? To do this, we will ask ChatGPT to do everything for us. We will start from scratch so everyone will be able to follow. Whether you are a seasoned pro or someone new in the artificial intelligence field, this video has something to teach you. So sit back, relax, and let's teach a machine to tell the difference between cats and dogs. The first prompt is something like this. You are my AI GPT. Your purpose is to help me build anything I ask. I want to make a program to identify cats and dogs. Okay, can you please, you have to be polite, <laughs> help me uh, with this and uh, it gave us uh, some deep neural networks for predicting images also it replied with ResNet, VGG and some more uh, neural networks so let's continue uh, with something like this a specific example of VGG for identifying cats and dogs. After some requests, it gave us a source code of VGG16, which is the best model to use as it's a powerful neural network consisting of 16 layers. Before we continue, let me quickly explain what a neural network is. Uh, a deep neural network is an artificial neural network characterized by multiple layers of interconnected nodes, also known as artificial neurons. Each layer of nodes processes the input and passes the output to the next layer until the final layer produces the output. In our case, we have 13 layers and 3 fully connected layers, with a final output layer customized to distinguish cats and dogs. Furthermore, VGG has been trained on a massive ImageNet dataset which contains over 1 million images belonging to 1,000 different categories. So, if we continue, we can uh, write something like... Um, also, um, can you please give me a data set to test the code? <clears throat> and the data set it gave us is the famous dogs vs cats data set from Kaggle and the links and everything are in the description. In this video I'm not going to explain more about uh, deep neural networks as you can find many videos about it, but in case you are interested write me in the comments below and I will try to give you an explanation in one of the videos. Uh, also one really good prompt uh, hack for ChatGPT if it stops generating uh, the content out of nowhere is to write please continue you didn't finish don't don't forget this it's really good advice so to continue let's ask for a unified code with something like this because we want to do nothing so uh, we can uh, type can you rewrite everything using the provided data set 
you gave me. Uh, <clears throat> and it gave us the source code, but we need to do some things prior to the execution. Also, if the code is not working, you can ask ChatGPT to debug it you know, by providing your error. So in our case, it said that we need to replace the provided path with our local path with the downloaded images. Be careful here to put the right paths here as it's a crucial step. Also, it says that we need to follow the, pro the provided structure with the cat and dog images for train and test sets. So, move carefully the photos in the train folder into two folders with the names cat and dog and select only the corresponding photos using your system, systems explorer. So, depending on the system that you are, you can use the search option and type dog or you can select all the images and move them to the corresponding folders. Just do your way. Also, do the same with a test folder and that's all. For ease of use, you can download the source code I made for this video and test it from the provided link below, but I really advise you to try it by yourself. To train our model, we will use transfer learning, which involves leveraging the pre-trained weights of a model trained on a large dataset and then fine-tuning it for a smaller dataset. And before we continue with execution of the code and without telling you many details about the algorithm, we need to fine-tune the VGG16 model for our task, because if you recall, VGG has been trained on a massive dataset, so we need to tailor-made it for our dataset here. To do this, we will need to remove the final output layer designed to classify images into 1000 different categories and replace it with a new output layer that will classify images as cats and dogs. Once we have our model architecture set up, it's time to train and evaluate our model. Before we start training, we need to pre-process our data to get it into a format that can be fed into our model. We will start by resizing all of our images to a fixed size, uh, which is the size that VGG16 model expects as input. We will also normalize the pixel values of our images so that they have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 which helps the model converge faster during training. Next, we will split our dataset into training and validation sets. The training set will be used to train our model, while the validation set will be used to evaluate the performance of our model during training and prevent overfitting. So, to estimate the performance, the accuracy of our model will be calculated, which is the percentage of images that the model uh, correctly classifies as either cats or dogs. First of all, we need to install Python, and the easiest way is through Anaconda. Use the provided link below, download it, install it, and then open the Anaconda navigator. Then find Spider here and press install. When it finishes, press launch and open the Python file we created before. Then, press this button over here and you will see this message here in the terminal. Then, type this command pip install -r requirements.txt and then over here and, and restart the kernel. Then, press the button again here and relax, as it needs some time to train the model and produce the results. As you can see, the test results are very accurate. It identified correctly cats and dogs here. Weird? Not really. This is how artificial networks work. As you saw, now it's easier than ever to create something from scratch, even with limited knowledge, thanks to the new tool called ChatGPT. As you may know, this is something big and it is already saving the future. So, if you enjoyed the video, Press the like button to support my work and subscribe for more interesting content. Until then, have fun, stay hungry and stay foolish as someone said. Bye bye.